Thank you all so much for tuning in with me today. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I want you guys to hang out with me while I do a little bit of laundry, some cleaning of the kitchen, and some Christmas decorating for the kitchen as well. For those of you who have been following me, you know we generally have someone to come in and clean, but I decided to challenge myself for the month of November and for the month of December to do all of my cleaning myself. I thank God for me having good health and is able to do the things in the home that I so love to do. So without further ado, you guys just sit back, relax, grab your drink and grab you a snack and enjoy as I do some laundry, do some cleaning in the kitchen. I'm going to be doing some deep cleaning, you guys, with my stove. And I'm um, going to be doing a little bit of decorating. So if this is something you're interested in, just keep on watching. And growing up, my mom taught me how to do laundry and she taught me how to sort the clothes. She always said, don't wash all of your clothes together. Make sure you separate your whites from your neutrals from your darks. So as you can see, that's what I have done here. I have separated my laundry in different piles and generally the largest of the laundry is usually the dark clothes. So I start those first because that's the largest load. Alright, so those are in there washing. So let's scoot on over to the kitchen and get some cleaning done over here. And what you see me using here, I am using a granite cleaner to clean the countertops. Um, it always keeps the granite nice and clean and it keeps it nice and shiny as well too. Since we are in this area right here, I always like to do a countertop display here. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to create a nice little uh, countertop decor for Christmas here. So just follow along.
my first load of darts are done so I'm taking them out of the washer and I'm putting them in the dryer and also when I do my laundry um, I use liquid detergent sometimes and I use the pod sometimes but at any rate any rate I always use the scent boosters in the washer for the clothes it makes it smell so good once you wear your clothes so yeah guys i am in the laundry room i like the setup of the laundry room if you guys missed that video go ahead and go back after this video and check that video out to see how i styled it with uh, baskets and how i organized everything in the laundry room this was a great great day for me i was feeling mighty good so i was making use of my time and i was getting the house clean doing a little bit of deep cleaning in the kitchen as you will see doing a little bit of decorating for christmas and getting my laundry done you guys so as you can see here in this load i'm using the liquid detergent in this load I, but i use the same brand which is the tide brand i have been using tide since i was born into this world so i never switched it up so i love tide and yeah i'm a tide girl As we're back over in the kitchen now that we have our laundry going I am disassembling all of the knobs and all of the tops off of our range top stove and that's what I like to do is when I clean the stove I like to take all the pieces apart and make sure that I soak them really really good and then try to hand clean them now the pink stuff the liquid and the paste I use on my range top because you guys if you have never used the pink stuff you are missing out because it takes that dirt those stains those marks it takes it up I even clean my oven with it as well too it's very very good I like it and I don't have to do like a whole lot of scrubbing using a lot of elbow grease when i'm trying to clean the stove or the range top so those are two items that you can use in your kitchen the uh, pink stuff paste as well as the pink stuff multi-purpose cleaner
so now I have to clean where you've seen the, these brown marks at and I want to use the pink stuff paste to clean those areas off of there yeah because I don't know what that I guess it's just build up around there and you know the print from where the knobs were at so I took the rubber part off to make sure I was able to get down in there and that pink paste it got it right on up you guys As you can see she is spotless she is nice and clean thank you to the pink stuff because the pink stuff did it all of the grease and gunk is gone so I love 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 a clean stove but y'all we're gonna experience something in a few minutes that scared the life out of me So generally whenever I take all of the pieces off of the stove I usually let them soak for a good 20 to 30 minutes in some done dish detergent and some water to be able to pull all of the oil and the grease grime and dirt off of them so here these are the knobs for the stove and I'm just taking them out and rinsing them off and then I'm also going to utilize the pink stuff multi-purpose spray on them before I complete my cleaning.
As I was standing here cleaning these, I started hearing a clicking sound. And I was like, I know I can't, it can't be the stove because I turned it off. Well, it was clicking. Y'all, I couldn't get it to stop clicking. So I started freaking out, y'all. I had to stop cleaning these and I went and turned the power off, y'all. This was the most scariest thing ever. Now that I got that resolved with the stove situation, check out the decor in the kitchen. Everything turned out nicely. I gift wrapped the cabinets. I added little small wreaths and I just decorated the kitchen for Christmas. The stove is nice and clean. The power is off for the stove. And yes, we are moving along with our day because y'all, that scared the heck out of me. But anyway, you all, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today while I did a little bit of laundry and a little bit of cleaning in the kitchen and some decorating in the kitchen for Christmas. Again, thank you all so, so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. And also, I want to say thank you for all of those who voted for me for the Meet and I Awards. And also, thanks to Meet and I for doing something so great for the YouTube community. And don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave me some comments down below. And at home with Lisa Lisa, we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye, lovebirds. Catch a vibe. We at home with Lisa.